Hi, this is Swagboy Fresh, and in this video I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get into orbit. This is going to be using the rocket that we created in the last tutorial. So to start off, you're going to want to turn on SAS and throttle up to about 70%. This is with the boosters. You don't need full throttle because they will do most of the work for you. So we're going to lift off, and here I'm just doing a check to make sure everything is working fine. It is. All engines are good. We're not shaking apart, those struts are holding us together nicely. So, notice how I have the resources tab open on the upper right, and we're going to watch the solid fuel drain down, and once that hits zero, we're going to release the tanks of the SRBs. So, one thing to make sure it, as you're going up is to make sure that you're pointing straight up. Uh, you don't want to be moving over because we, we want to get out of the atmosphere as quickly as possible right now, so we're going to go straight up since it's pretty thick down here in the atmosphere. So the SRBs are draining and just watch them go. Uh, look at that little Kerbal, he's so happy to be moving so fast. Uh, you can also do uh, small cor connect corrections to the throttle, but I did that a little. So there goes the SRBs and notice how they didn't hit the rocket. It, in this rocket, we don't really have to worry about pushing them away because they just fall away. So here's a, lo a look inside the cockpit, um, some of the instruments. Uh, it isn't very well developed, but it, we don't really need the cockpit for here. Here are some different views, but yeah, the cockpit isn't very useful at all when you're going upwards. So uh, it's best to keep the camera on free when you're going up, but I was just experimenting a little. So we're about to turn over a little at about mm, anywhere from 12 to 15,000 feet. You're going to want to turn over slightly and work over to 45 degrees rotating up. And what I did, just did was I turned the resources tab onto stage only. That allows me in the upper right to see how much f fuel and resources I have in the current stage so that I'm not looking at the fuel overall. So here I'm turning over and I'm following the 90 degree marker. It's very important that you stay right on 90 degrees. And you can tell that from the heading indicator at the bottom. So stay right on there and bring it down to about 45 degrees up. And oh, I should have mentioned when the SRBs drop away, make sure that you go to full throttle because otherwise you won't have the power to lift yourself as well. So we're, we're at full throttle burning just straight out of the atmosphere. We can turn over now up here because the atmosphere is a lot thinner and we don't have to worry about uh, drag as much. So now I'm just looking at the map and making sure I'm holding it steady on 90 degrees, give or take a degree, that doesn't matter much. Um, so yeah, we're just pushing that out and it's increasing pretty fast, which is fine. Just keep pushing it out. And once it gets above 70,000, which is happening right about now, we're going to turn over and face the horizon. So just like this, I'm going to throttle down a bit since I don't need all that burn time. And I'm just going to bring it down to the atmosphere. This will make us pick up uh, horizontal speed faster. Keep burning and keep pushing out that apoapsis, which is the point that you'll be at the highest at. Push that out to about 100,000 meters, and that's pretty stable. There we go. Now, let me just, okay. There's 100,000. So now we are going to leave the atmosphere. And we're going up pretty quickly, so I don't need to worry about time accelerating. And once we leave the atmosphere, I'm going to set up a maneuver node at Apoapsis. Uh, and that maneuver node will allow us to, or it, it will show us when we need to burn to get our periapsis out and get our orbit circular. So I'm out of the atmosphere and I just quick saved. That's a good habit to get into. Um, it'll quick save by hitting F5 and then when holding F9 you can reload that save. So here I'm bringing out the maneuver node. I've got it set. Pretty easy to operate. I'm just dragging it out. Um, okay there. And we're circularized. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is when I hit that node tells me when to burn and burning will then push out my orbit and get me up to enough speed to stay in orbit and circular. 
So on the nav ball, I'm going to bring my indicator heading indicator towards, or, or not towards, right on the dot. This blue dot, if you hold it there uh, and turn on SAS, it will follow it so you don't have to do any corrections. Now I'm time accelerating a little bit just to get there faster. I know it says estimated burn 28 seconds, and a lot of people think that you should start burning when you're 28 seconds from the node, but a better idea is to burn when you're 14 seconds from the node, so half the distance. That way you burn half, um, half of your fuel on either side of the node. And that gives you the most even burn possible. So here I'm burning, and make sure you do it at full throttle for the best calculation. Just bring that down. And I made a mistake here. I, um, when you're getting down low where you don't have much left, you should really throttle down, but I overshot it a bit by going full out. You can see that here, I overshot it by about 16 meters per second. And this is the part where I realized that I screwed up my orbit a little. It's fine. I mean, it's circular and it's stable, but I was hoping it, for it to be a bit cleaner. But for this video, that's just fine if you're getting into orbit. This is just a simple tutorial on how to get into a stable orbit around Kerbin. And I can do tutorial on course corrections later. So, right now, I'm just... Uh, I'm looking here to see if there's any way I can con correct it easily, but I don't have much fuel. So, I'm going to, here is me disconnecting the smaller pod, kind of, and I noticed that it got off to kind of a rocky start, it tumbled, and you can connect that, correct that, excuse me, just by um, rotating the capsule and holding it there with SAS. And I, I thought that my engine was turned on, but it wasn't. But a good idea would be to burn just slightly away from it, just to get yourself Make sure that you're a safe distance from that, because if that hits you, you would explode easily. Well, that's about it. Thanks.